What's good, y'all? Michael here today with another video. Before we begin, go subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to get curb stomped. And when I get asked about it, I'm going to be most likely not guilty because I'm going to say they had a chance to subscribe to me and have more good content every day. But they chose not to. So if you don't, go and so hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go curb stomp you. But anyway, let's get to the Lions and the Bears tomorrow. Well, boys, we're finally here. After a long pandemic, after a long months without any sports activity, just NBA, and that's it. NBA to keep us occupied. Tomorrow will finally begin a full football. As you know, I've purchased my Sunday NFL ticket already. Shout out to the NFL. And I can't get the game here, but I can I that's why I bought the Sunday ticket so I can um watch every Bears game and don't have a problem with it. I don't have to go to a restaurant next door just to watch it. I can just watch it here on my computer or my TV. As you know, tomorrow's starter is going to be Mitch. All right. It's not a shocker. Y'all have been knowing about it. Let me, under, let me tell you something. When I look at the three quarterbacks that were taken in that 2017 NFL draft class, when I look at those three quarterbacks, Mahomes, Watson, and Mitch, when I look at those three quarterbacks, Mahomes easily bests out those two quarterbacks combined. Mahomes is the best quarterback in that class. Easily, it was Deshaun Watson, but looking at the looking at Mahomes torch the Texans and giving them giving them a, no reason to fight, they legit murdered the Texans. So Mahomes is easily the best quarterback in that class because he's been to a Super Bowl and won it. For Deshaun, for Deshaun Watson, case it. As, as you know, yesterday I was supposed to release me burying Deshaun Watson, but I chose not to. I chose not to release it because I felt like I, if I posted, if I posted a Deshaun Watson rent video, he was most likely going to have a good season, and the media was going to. Lord, him. How much do you want to bet if Deshaun Watson has an eight and eight season, he's going to get shitted on by the media, or Bill O'Brien is going to get shitted on by the media? When I look at those three quarterbacks, as of now, Mitch is the third best quarterback in that class. At the end, because Mitch doesn't have a playoff game, it doesn't have a playoff win. Deshaun Watson needed a miracle to beat Josh Allen in the playoffs. Mitch only needed a field goal against Nick Foles. But, his, but we saw him drove his team down field goal range, and his kicker missed the kick. That was the only hope Bears fans ever had for Mitch. He drove his team down into field goal range, but it's not his fault that the kicker missed the field goal. He played very good well against the Eagles. He threw for over 300 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. How much do you want to bet? If we go look at Twitter, because I know Twitter probably took has suspended multiple accounts for this. How much do you want to bet if, if we look back at Mitch's performance last year, all the rest of his games, how much do you want to bet a Bears fan has told him to kill himself? How much do you want to bet? I'm willing to bet my whole work paycheck on it that we see comments wishing Mitch death. I have no respect for anybody that wishes death on athletes, no matter what. Because... Whenever the media looks at Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes, they will think it's the best. It's going to be the classic 
rivalry of the century. But what I'm viewing is the Sean Watson, the uh, not Sean, um, Patrick Mahomes pressing his foot on the Sean Watson and not giving him a reason to fight. But anyway, let's go back to the Lions and uh, Bears tomorrow. I don't think you Lions fans realize who has beaten you four times the past decade. Because I actually looked at stats before I did this. Because I don't really count his rookie season. He has thrown nine touchdowns against the Lions. And he has only thrown one interception under head coach Matt Nagy. So that's not a bad stat. His yards are off the chart with the Lions. No one cares about the Lions. As a matter of fact, I shouldn't even be wasting my, my breath and energy on the Lions. Because we could have Jay Cutler and still win against the Lions tomorrow. We could have Mike Glennon and still beat the Lions tomorrow. Because Detroit is so... So bad, folks. Do you want to know what's so bad? Their overrated quarterback, Matthew Stafford, is the greatest lion of all time. Am I wrong? He's the greatest lion of all time. But my whole thing is Lions fans give him way too much credit. He went to the playoffs three times this past decade and has lost them all. He has not given Detroit a playoff win. He, matter of fact, he hasn't even got them a division title. At least Mitch has done that. Kirk Cousins might as well win the division next. And Aaron Rodgers has been dominating the division for this long. But I'll get to, I'll get to Green Bay in a later video once I do my um, post-game um, after uh, – how do you say this? After game reaction or post-game. I don't think you Lions fans realize who has beaten you the last four times this decade. Mitch has only beaten the Lions three times because actually he would have beat the Lions on Thanksgiving. That was that that Mitch looked better than the 2019 Mitch. So what do we have to be scared of tomorrow? Do we have to be scared of Trey Flowers? The dude that you overpaid? Do we have to be scared of Desmond Trufant? The, the, he, let me say here about um, Desmond Trufant. Lions fans, no, no, not Lions fans. Um, Falcons fans have said um, Desmond Trufant is a bum and he's old. What's the difference? Jeff Akuda, I, I'm hearing reports that Jeff Akuda is not playing tomorrow because he's not ready yet. But either way, here's my whole thing with these rookies. They think just because they play good in college is that just because they played good in college means that they're going to do good in the NFL level. Many players have done that. Baker Mayfield was a Heisman Trophy winner, and he had a solid rookie season, then fell off the edge. Yeah, he's a quarterback, but it's not like it's the first ever rookie to have a bad career. Baker might by this is Baker has to win six games to get to get a contract extension. That's all I'm going to say. Baker has to win nine games. He doesn't have to make a playoff run. But my whole thing is as much as I love Mitch. I can't deny he's addicted to hard work. He's addicted to work, and he wants to work so hard. You don't know how he's thinking. He was. He has something to prove this year. He once he declined, got got his fifth year option declined. The moment it got declined, he knew it's do or die time. He knows that if he doesn't put up the stats. He's gonna leave. He's not gonna be in Chicago. He knows that. It's hard to root against the guy that wants to prove everybody wrong. 
that had a long off season with this quarterback coach named Gru. Hello, Gru worked out with Mahomes. Mahomes has a bazooka arm. Why can't it work for Mitch? Why can't it work for him? Hello, it worked for Mahomes. Why can't it work for Trubisky? I mean, let's be honest here. If any Bears fans, if any, all the Bears fans that says, oh, do you know, did you know some pussy girl, pussy, some girl um, messaged me the day after Mahomes completely took the heart out of Deshaun Watson. She's like, oh, you're just too tough on Deshaun Watson. He's, he could have a good season. Nah, the Colts are going to win that division. The Colts are going to win 11 games. Or the Titans might win that division. But here's how I view tomorrow's game. All my Dragon Ball Z fans know this. You remember when Vegeta thought he was a Super Saiyan? He, he thought he could dethrone three, Frieza? That's literally Lions fans thinking just because they have Stafford back means that they can overthrow the Bears. That's literally them going up against for, uh, the Bears, and the Bears are Frieza. Actually, no. I'm just going to say Khalil Mack is Frieza. And Frieza... Do you remember how that ended on Planet Namek when Vegeta thought he was a Super Saiyan and thought he could defeat Frieza? Frieza murdered Vegeta. Frieza murdered Vegeta. Last time he saw Vegeta, he was crying to Goku. You gotta do it for our Saiyans. You gotta do it for our pride. You gotta defeat Frieza. Defend our... Be... Killed. Murdered. Cold blood. That's Stafford is literally going to be crying to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron, you got to be Cleo Mack, please. Beat Gerbstom. That's how we view tomorrow. Mack is going to put, is going to murder Stafford, and Stafford is going to be crying to Aaron Rodgers. You got to do it for our NFC North. You got to beat. Khalil Mack, please. That was probably the most saddest Dragon Ball Z moment I've ever seen in my life. Outside of Piccolo's death, but I'll get to that in a different video. But anyway, I hope you all are ready for football tomorrow. Me, personally, I am. I'm going to be watching um, the Bears and Lions tomorrow, and I'm going to keep an eye on the Vikings versus um, Packers game because – I'm getting lots of shit being like, oh, you you owe me $100 because the Vikings are going to get crushed tomorrow. Okay, we'll let you think that. We'll let you think that a Packers team that hasn't had a sexy offseason is going to beat a Minnesota Vikings team. The only thing I can see a weakness in that game is the wide receivers, but it's for both teams. Green Bay hasn't drafted a wide receiver. Matter of fact, I don't think they have any good wide receivers other than Adams. But anyway, I'll get to my post-reaction video on that. I'll only give you a sneak, glimpse of sneak peek of it. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe, bear down, and FTP.